This code sample used the logging module. The logging module allows us to create logging messages and write them through multiple destinations. First, we get an object. We should get an object that functions as a logger, an object on which we can uh, invoke functions such as uh, info in order to create a, a, a log message that its level is info. There are other functions, of course, like error uh, and so on. And once we get the logger, and the logger has a name, so that if we try to get a logger with the same name, we should get the same object, even if the two calls are in two separated files. Here we can set uh, a level for the logging messages, meaning that only logging message that its level is above the one I specify here will uh, will be written to the uh, logger destinations. The logger destinations can be a file handler, a stream handler. Here in this code sample I have a file handler that refers a file, its name is demo.log. We can change the name so we can uh, get a, see how a new file is created. And here I set the level for that uh, handler, meaning that only log messages above info will be written to this uh, file. I can create um, more uh, file handlers to other files. Uh, for example, I can say that I want a uh, file handler to demo sample error dot log and this file handler will have a level of, of logging dot error so that only error messages will get to be written to this file here I have another handler, a stream handler, meaning that uh, log messages written to this handler will be written to the console and its level is info in this code sample but we can place something else here I create uh, uh, an object that describes the format of each uh, and every log message and here I apply this format on each one of the two file handlers I created and here I apply that very same formatter on the on the stream handler the one that takes the messages to the console and here I add the handlers to the logger we have and here we finally have the code itself and this is a simple demo for uh, code executed in thru two, two loops one inside the other and logging messages of level info are written through the logger and eventually when the program completes we get the sum of the total calculations printed to the screen so if we uh, execute this code sample here is the result of the calculation but more important is to take a look at the logging messages in the format we asked those written to the console are actually those that were carried out by the stream handler we created. Uh, you can see that if I set a different level, like arrow level, then if now I execute this code sample, not nothing will be printed to the console. Let's return it back to info. Um, we can also see that uh, two new files were created. Uh, we have the demo sample.log and demo sample errors.log. And this one is empty because we didn't have any log messages, uh, any log message uh, in the level error. But this one is, of course, uh, full with all the info logging messages we have from our code.